All right, Bulls fans. We got to talk about the most embarrassing playoff home playoff loss in Chicago Bulls history and why. These players just, I don't even know what to say, man. But we'll get into it all right after this intro. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. All right, Bulls fans. So, um, last night sucked. Um, in so many words, I I really don't even know, and that's part of the reason why I didn't do a post game last night. Uh, yes, I was highly pissed off, um, disappointed, hurt in in a lot of different ways. Not because the team lost, but how they lost. That embarrassing effort on our home court after coming in with some momentum, after playing really well in the first two games. And this is the thing that I talked about in, in the pregame show, is that the Milwaukee Bucks were going to be coming out for blood. Losing the player, losing the game at home, they were coming out with focus and a level of, of intensity that the, Bear, the Bulls just did not match at all. They did, just did not match the level of intensity that the Bucks brought out there from start to finish. This was an embarrassing effort. Everybody on this team needs to look at themselves and smack themselves in the face right now. The effort that this team gave is embarrassing and not indicative of the city of Chicago or the fan base or the players on the court as well. This was one of the one of those losses where you look at it and you're like, literally everything had to, had to go wrong. A 30-point loss at home in your first home game in five years. DeMar DeRozan, who said, he, I'm not going to shoot six for 25 again, Four for nine for only 11 points. Zach Levine was six for 13. Uh, Nikola Vucevic, again, one of the only players that seemed like he understood the moment. Eight for 17 with six rebounds, three assists, 19 points overall. Um, Tony Bradley had had damn uh, double-digit scoring with five for five. Listen, this, the effort this team gave last night is bullshit. And this is not acceptable. And this is why I was saying everybody who thought, oh, Middleton was out, the Bulls won. Oh, we got the momentum. Oh, we're going to win this game. Oh, this series is ours. No, it's not. Because this is still the same team that we saw after the All-Star break that for some reason just can't keep up a level of intensity, that just can't keep up a level of play. And the fact that it happened at home is even more fucking embarrassing. They they were not in this game at any point in time. Opening quarter, they lost 33-17. to The only quarter that they won in this is the fourth quarter, 21 to 22. And then by that, it was garbage time. It didn't even matter. This was an embarrassing effort, a hugely embarrassing effort to be on a playoff stage after playing pretty well. You know, if this would have been the Bulls' first playoff game, if they would have lost like this the first game in Milwaukee, I wouldn't have been as surprised, right? A team with no play, not very much playoff experience, doesn't understand the moment, things like that. Okay. You give a blowout uh, away game, your first game, you come back, you bounce back, you play better, okay, you learn the moment. What the Bulls did in this game is utterly embarrassing and it's disrespectful to the fan base. It's disrespectful to me. It's disrespectful to you watching this. It's disrespectful to the fans in that arena who spent their hard-earned money to attend a playoff game, which aren't cheap. This was an embarrassing effort from the Chicago Bulls. Now, the Bulls play again tomorrow. That's one of the benefits about the playoffs. The next game is always on the horizon. What what do they do? Do they do anything? Do they stand up as men and defend their home court? Do they make this series interesting again? Because I tell you what, like I said, all that talk about momentum, and I've done it too, the Bulls had the momentum. But guess what? That momentum is all but gone, especially after a demoralizing loss like this. What do the Bulls do? What do this coaching staff does to prepare them? What happens? What does this organization does? It's so crazy how, how Bulls Nation swings, right? We were riding so high after that win and the Middleton injury. And then, and I told you guys, hey, Grayson Allen came in, balled out. Balled out. What's the Matthews didn't do much? It's just, man, this team. And then to see the Bucks dancing out there on the court, smiling laughing 
Like, this is this. Hey, this was embarrassing. And the Bulls need to look at this and they need to wake the fuck up. That's period point blank what needs to happen. This team needs to get their shit together. Because after a loss like this, I tell you what, anybody who's thinking the Bulls can still win this series, hey, man, listen, you got more faith than I do because this, this is one of those losses that completely changes the outlook of a series. The fans, when they come in Sunday, what are they going to look like? I don't know, man. This is, this is just really frustrating and it's disheartening, and this is not the effort that we deserve to see from our Chicago Bulls in, a, in the first home playoff game in five years after they've played really well in the first two games of this series. The Bulls need to get it together. They need to look at themselves, and they need to figure it the hell out because I tell you what, this series, the momentum is completely changed. It's completely in the Bucks' hands right now. Everything is in the Bucks' hands right now. How do the Bulls respond? That's the question. How will the Bulls respond? Because that that happy-go-lucky shit ain't getting nowhere with this one anymore. It's not happening. The Bulls need to get their shit together, period, point blank. And that's how I'm ending this one. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know some of the, the listen, the most frustrating parts of last night's game. If you have anything positive that you can take out of it that you want to see the Bulls, you know, if you, you, you see a glimmer of hope. Let me know that down below as well. This Bulls team needs to get it together. This is just disrespectful, and I hope that they can. Make sure you're following the podcast at Bulls Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, BullsCentralPod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave us a text or a voicemail, you can do so at 773-270-2799. Like I like to end everything on, go Bulls. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Breaks Media. Media.